To use any of the revision management features in ARCHICAD 18, we must first of all activate the Change Manager palette. This can be done in two ways, either from the Window menu, Palettes and Change Manager, or alternatively from the little chooser at the top of the navigator, and we just say Show the Change Manager. Change Manager is a typical ARCHICAD palette, it's vertically stacked, so it's preferential if you, you have it to the side of the screen, you can either dock it to the left or snap it on a Mac or to the right of the screen, whatever you prefer. But essentially this is where we create, edit and then manage any of the changes within ARCHICAD 18. These changes then move on to become our actual revision information that's tagged on our layouts etc. So this is the entire basis of revision management. Pal is very simple, it's in two halves. The top part tracks the changes and the bottom part then links or shows the elements that are linked to those changes and these can be tracked throughout the rest of the model. If I do a very simple change here, I'm going to take this window, I'm going to increase its height and drop its sill. That changes, but you'll see that doesn't make any difference to the change manager at all because we have to choose what elements are part of this. So, with this window selected, what I'm going to do is pick on this button here to create a new change. This pops up, we can check our change ID, we can give it a title, and you'll see that the date and the time are already specified here. These are not controlled by me, these are set by the system. So, this is the username that I've logged into the computer as, and the date and the time as per the system date and time. What that does is then create the change and it shows the linked elements. And if I deselect that element, there's a couple of useful things here. We can actually just double click and that selects and zooms to the element so we can see it within the current view. If I switch to the north elevation and again double click, then again it selects the same element within that particular view. So this is the first step in the process of tracking our revisions.